What is up lads, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the second part of our summer tour in Japan highlight pack review slash breakdown, right? So I did already talk about this uh, with the Bayern players, if you've missed out on those you can check those out. And while I do feel that the Bayern pack is better, like the four players there are better, these are actually all part of the one pack. You can just spin anytime uh, you want, you get eight chances of getting whoever you get or else you can clear the agent if you want to do that, you can clear these for 800 coins. I mean, listen... At this stage in the game, I definitely am going to wait for eFootball 2024, but I will do a video on that quite soon, so keep an eye on the channel over the next few days. I have a good lot of stuff coming. But for this player pack here, these four that we're going to take a look at, I'm just going to spend about a minute on each, um, and then obviously talk about Letaro, Martinez, and Bastoni. For the Tessi as a whole player, well, this guy actually is a very, very dominant player, apart from the lack of player skills, and the fact that he's down as a whole player, which is a bit of a concern, because he is a center midfielder whole player. I would definitely prefer to play this guy as an attacking midfielder but he can't play there as a primary position so this is a bit of a concern with this card in terms of his player id and the runs he's going to be making but the stats will override a lot of that right so if you do spin him i mean i don't think that he's definitely somebody you should you should really play i mean you probably have a better player by now but if you are a newcomer he is a very solid player you've got a build here for him that we have um where he goes into you know 88 ball control 87 low pass 88 acceleration and 83 balance the dexterity is probably a little bit too high there. I would probably just max that out at 85 to get the balance and everything like that. I'd probably boost the pass in one to get the low pass at 88. That means you won't need to put on that many player skills. Stamina, speed, acceleration, everything is fine for a center midfielder. But because he's a whole player, I would actually probably pop on as many uh, into defense as I possibly could just to bring that up a fraction, right? Uh, you're not going to be shooting that many shots at him. So he does go to a 92 overall uh, center midfielder there, but he would be a 92 as an AM as well similarly with the marco right on the surface this guy doesn't look that good but as you train him up you can see there that he's got interception pinpoint crossing he's also got early cross so that kind of steers where you're gonna where you're gonna train this card right don't fight the cards lads sometimes you know they're very very easy to train up if you actually understand the basics and the fundamentals of what type of player that the player is if you want an attacking midfielder that can shoot from long range you know, get somebody that has got good finishing and uh, kicking power stats. If you want a really mobile, you know, one-touch pass and move beast, get somebody that you can train up to have extremely good ball control dribbling um, that has got one-touch skill and also has got extremely good balance and acceleration. I mean, it's not rocket science, but a lot of people sometimes concentrate too much on powering up the players overall rather than what the player's role is on the pitch for you, okay? So this guy's got very solid stats across the board. 80s in pretty much everything which means he does fall into that mid-game kind of uh, mid-tier um you know review or you know breakdown of a card it's, it's kind of easy enough to do it yes he does have 88 lofted pass and defensive engagement and balance which is nice um but his lack of player skills apart from you know kind of swinging balls in there's better players around that can do the same job as him now i do like the fact that he has unwavering form as well but that's something that we wouldn't really focus on too much because a lot of the good cards have it, right? So that leaves us with Bastoni and, of course, Letaro Martinez. Bastoni is actually a bit of a boss, lads. I mean, he's got excellent um, stats straight off the rip. He doesn't have blocker and he doesn't have acrobatic clearance, but he does have heading, man marking, interception, and sliding tackle. So you do have to kind of choose what type of center back that you get. If you do clear this pack and you have the licked, I do think that the Ligt is better, but Bastoni is a slightly different card and a slightly different type build because he's not an outright um, center back like the Ligt is, you know, because Bastoni's got a bit about him. He's got a bit of ball playing. He's got a bit of pace. He's got a bit of coverage that he can have. He's got height there as well. Obviously, the Ligt does as well, but his header is only 81. His jump is 87. It doesn't go into the 90. And I always look at it this way, right? If you've got a center back that can't go, if he's, if he's not for height, and he's not for in the air. If he can't go to 75 in acceleration, don't use him. So the likes of Timber, the likes of Koundé, the likes of Pavard, any of those guys, if you want to use them, um, you can as long as their speed and acceleration goes to 75 uh, that are mobile. You know what I mean? Rudiger is another good option. But if you're looking for just a complete defensive beast, you do need to have that sweet spot of the defense stats in the 90s and the jump and header around the 90 mark as well, right? So it's very hard to get that on all players. So I don't really recommend this Bastoni. I think it's a bit of a disappointing one compared to his Italian pack card. He has minus three aggression on this, uh, but it's an identical card. But this guy's got five more levels. This guy's only got 20 levels. This Italian pack at 25. So that's why I'd probably be keen to wait for eFootball 
Football 24 to see what packs that they actually do release. And then last but not least, we have the pick of the pack of the Inter pack. We have Lautaro. Now, this guy is basically a standard version of Mario, lads, right? He's got a wavering form, first time shot, acrobatic finishing, heading, dipping shot, long range shooting, Marseille turn, gamesmanship, and fighting spirit. He's, you know, he's pretty, um, he's pretty beastly in front of goals. I would definitely, with the 21 levels that you're going to have with him, I would definitely have this guy as a really, really strong player if you're going to be deciding how to train him up. It's very, very easy, right? So if we take a look at him here, right, we've maxed him out at 21 levels, even though this level is at 33, that was wrong. So this guy has only got 21 levels, but he still gets 87 offensive awareness, 85 balance, 84 acceleration, 84 ball control, 85 finishing. He's a very, very, very decent standard card. But this card, lads, even though it's the pick of him, I would say, well, Bastoni is probably the pick of him in terms of overall. But I do like Latoura Martinez. I have had multiple versions of him. But the big disappointment about this card, lads, is the levels. I mean, he's only got 21 levels to go, which is quite bad. I mean, even if he had like, you know, 33 levels as he had originally, um, I do feel like this card would be a really, really nice kind of option. But obviously, because you can clear the agent, you know, they don't want to give you absolute demonic players, you know, demon players. Um, and I do think that there are a couple in here. But when you look at the likes of Sané from the Byron pack, if you've missed out on that, he had 26 levels, you know, so he goes to a much higher overall at 96. I think they should have put Martinez in that same level as well, which means that Bastoni actually probably becomes the pack pick that I would recommend the most, even though he's only got 20 levels. So I do like Lataro. If you guys want me to talk about any more of these players, let me know. Until next time, that is the Interpack. Peace. Let me know if you're going to spin or skip.